Good morning everybody, it's Angela and David from Wiley's Travel Adventures. Morning. We're off to Newcastle this morning just to get some vlogs of the Christmas market and also the lights later on because we don't get a train till about half past seven coming back. So we've got plenty of time to mooch about, get some Christmas shopping done. And yeah, I haven't been to Newcastle for a long time and I remember years ago when I lived at Hexham, I used to go all the time, so it'll be quite interesting. So we think the Christmas market is around Grey Street, Grey's Monument, so it should be easily to, easy to find. So by the time we get there, it'll have opened. So we'll see you all later when we get there. I'm not going to video the train journey because that's just boring. So we'll see you all in Newcastle. Bye for now. Hi guys, we just arrived at Newcastle station. Look at that pretty tree, how pretty. It's quite big as well. So yeah, it's hustle and bustle on Newcastle now. Station is always very busy here. Lots of eateries and bars and things now. So we're heading off into the centre. Just thought I'd show you a little bit of the central station. As you can see, the weather is absolutely minging. Yeah, so we're coming up to Granger Street. So we're heading up to Gray's Monument. This is where the Christmas market's meant to be. You can see something straight ahead. Actually, it's chucking it down. I'm gonna to have to buy a brolly. I think it's been lovely and dry the last few days, and when we come out, it has to rain. Typical, isn't it? Huh? Oh God, I nearly fell off the path there. All these Christmas markets have this sort of thing, don't they? This little, huh? Yeah. Eh? That one in Glasgow and Edinburgh and places. Oh, we'll have to see how many stalls there is in a moment. Well, I hope there's more of it to it than this, David. <laughs> so. There's not very many stalls here. I know. For a big city. Unless there's some round the corner. Yeah. Oh, she's stood in a big puddle. Christmas in the rain. How lovely. Oh. Some more around the corner here. Not a huge market, I don't think. It might look better when the light, when it gets dark later, but there's not a lot of stalls, really. I thought there would have been a lot more as well. Just like a couple on each side, and yeah, unless they've got another one somewhere else, I don't know. Obviously it stops at the bottom here where the road starts, so... The bar. I do believe Carlisle's might be bigger than this. 
<laughs> I don't know, do you? Huh? It's taken up by a blinking great big bar here. Yeah? Moose, moose and wort. That's what it's called. And basically, we're coming to the end. Well, unless we've got another market somewhere else, I don't know. We'll go, yeah. Yeah, we'll video around the other side and then we'll have a look around ourselves and and maybe just have a look on the internet and see if we've got another one somewhere because this ain't. So that's down there's Grey Street. That goes down to the quayside, just about. Lots of eateries and bars and. Uh, they've got the Theatre Royal there where they have pantomimes and various other theatre shows throughout the year. We often used to go and see the pantomimes years ago with the kids when they were at Houghton School. They always used to go to the Newcastle pantomime. But yeah, we'll walk up the other side and see where it leads us. Nowhere, probably. <laughs> Well, I thought it was going to be, be a big massive thing with like rides and things like that as well, eh? unless they're somewhere else. You know, like Edinburgh with a big wheel and everything on the, yeah. Hotel. Oh, hey, who? I think it'll be going, got a, a hotel booked for Liverpool in a couple of weeks, so I hope that one's a bit better than this. <laughs> Uh, this is the some of the stalls here, but yeah, a bit disappointed, I think, really. But well, we haven't just come for the markets, we've come to see the Christmas lights at night time and get some shopping. <laughs> Mainly just a lot of food stalls, isn't it? But, yeah. Yeah. Well, basically that's it, unless I've got somewhere else. Yeah, very disappointing. We'll go and have a look in Fenwick's window, see if they've got any displays in there this year. So guys, this is Fenwick's window. They normally have Christmas display every year. Before we get done for copyright here again with the music. Sorry if you can see the reflection of people walking by. Off you go! <laughs> Yeah, 
I thought they might have had stalls all the way down here, like. And a happy new year. Maybe I'll be in I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No. We're going to Elden Centre, see if there's much in there these days. Oh, we're just in Elden Centre now. Looking at the pretty lights and things, and we've just been in Primark for a few bits. So I'm looking for something to eat now before we see if there's any more stalls anywhere. Well, we got till like seven o'clock, so we've got plenty of time to have a look round. So as you can see, it's fairly busy. Dread to think what the weekends are like at the minute in Elton Centre. Got pretty decorations up. <laughs> Just looking for something to eat at the moment. And we're just coming up to the food quarter. Smash burger. Ask Italian all down the stairs. So we got a Lebanese grill house up there. Then you got Frankie and Benny's. Yeah, we've got TGI Fridays. We've got quite a few to choose from. So we've decided on Frankie and Benny's to do a lunchtime special. And other stuff as well, of course. So I'm having a load of potato skins for my starter. And David's having southern fried chicken with barbecue sauce. And he's having a burger for mains and I'm having a pizza. Yeah, I forgot to take a pic the video of the dinner, so I'm having a pepperoni pizza. David's having cheeseburger and chips. The starters were very nice indeed. So let's hope this is gonna be the same. Hi everybody, it's just Angela again from Wine's Travel Adventures. Just eating our dinners, just finishing off the drinks and then we're going to have a walk somewhere. We're getting a few bits and bobs for Christmas so far. Uh, the market's pretty naff really. Not much stalls there at all, is there? Mm. Uh, bit disappointing. Bit disappointing, yeah, for a big city. I uh, don't know whether we'll get down the quayside. It's a bit rainy. We'll see what it's like when we get out. Cause we'll meant to be a big wheel down there but I don't know whether they'll have any stalls or anything down there. Uh, if anybody's wondering why we haven't been on the channel for a while, uh, it's because of work commitments and also because I haven't been feeling the greatest of late. Obviously I'm doing a bit of overtime up to Christmas with people being off in the in the office I'm working and also I've had this problem in my back and my arm which doesn't seem to want to go away. So yeah, so basically that's why I haven't been on uh, of late. Uh, we've got Liverpool coming up in a couple of weeks so that should be good. Let's hope we've got a better Christmas market than Newcastle has. And um, that's on the 17th of December we go there. Hopefully by then I'll have done all the Christmas shopping. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. But I've got to have more blood tests and things coming up. So I'll keep you posted about that, guys. So anyways, we're going to finish these drinks and then head off uh, in some direction to see if we can find any more stalls. But I don't think there is any, to be quite honest. Uh, it's, the weather's a bit inclement today, it's raining a lot, so, but yeah, we've had a nice meal, see if we can get any more Christmas shopping in, we've got till uh, about 7 o'clock before we have to go down and get the train, so it's not too bad, so we'll see you all later. Well, it's pouring down with rain, it's just starting to get dark. Let's show the other 
some of the lights and Newcastle. Absolutely chucking it down. So all the major shops are in Newcastle, obviously. And they're all spread out. This is we're on Northumberland Street now, which is one of the main shopping precincts. See, this is why I thought they would have the market here. It seems more sense having the market here, huh? Don't you think? Well, it's all pedestrianised. It's all pedestrianised. Would have been ideal. I know the top of it, top of Grace Monument, is all pedestrianised as well. But yeah, there's passing Fenix window again. I've seen it better over the years. <laughs> yep. That's some of the some of the lights anyway. Just a shame the weather's so naff because we would have gone to lots more places, but we got it other times and all. That we can come back when the weather's a bit better. Yeah. So we've just headed back to the Christmas market. Uh, there's another bit where there's a few stalls but there weren't much pop. Uh, the lights remind me a bit of Carlisle lights because they're all gold as well. This must be the new in colour I think. Me myself I preferred multicoloured lights. So that's Granger Street down there with a with that. Sculpture thing. The mold wine stall or something. And then we've got the stalls down here on Grey Street. The weather's the pit of the earth, I must admit. It's of the earth. It's still nice to come to a different city from time to time. There's the lights, twinkly lights. And then obviously where the flame is down the bottom is where they have that pub. Yeah, the entrance to the bar. So this, mat, this pub here Pop of pub takes up most of the room. I think we're gonna have a walk down by the river because our train is until 25 past seven. So we'll see what's down the quayside. There's somebody singing up there. With a top coat on. We're just having a couple of Pina coladas and the slug and lettuce while we wait for the train and the weather's too rainy to be going anywhere. Christmas markets, nothing to write home about. Newcastle hasn't changed a bit since we were last, since I used to come here when I was younger. Yes, I think the weather's spoiled. A good day, but you can't get good weather each time you come out and do a vlog. Basically, I've had to have my phone away all day because, or well, the majority of the day, because it's been raining too hard. We were going to go down the quayside, but decided against it because I don't think there's any stalls down there either. But we've got a couple hours till the train, so. I'll wrap this vlog up for now. It'll be Liverpool in two weeks' time. I don't think I'll get anything done before then because I'm at work quite a bit. So we'll see you all later.